Hey guys, today I wanna to show you how to put together a cheap and effective cleaning kit that's gonna have you completely doing your house differently. So if you're ready to clean smarter and not harder, you are in the right place. Okay guys, so today we are talking about my cleaning kit or my cleaning caddy. And so I wanted to go through what I have and some tips to kind of save you some time when you're shopping for the things that you're gonna need. So guys, this caddy has been just exactly what I was looking for and it's got a lot of good features to it. So when you're shopping for a cleaning caddy, I like to have a handle that way I can carry it from room to room very easily and I have all of my products with me. So if you're carrying something, make sure that it's easy to tote around. Don't get something that is awful. I used a bucket for the longest time and a, a good wash bucket works too. The other thing that I like is that it's got some drainage holes so that I, if I have something that's a little drippy it will drain now I don't tend to put things that are super wet in here but I like the air to get in there so that I don't have puddles of cleaning products kind of in there it would drain out if there's anything drippy so the other thing to consider is will your bottles fit all the way down into it and stay in there you see how deep this is my full bottle of Mrs. Myers fits in it and it doesn't fall out I get these little bottles from my local Lowe's hardware store. I love them. They're very powerful, wonderful spray bottles. However, they only go about halfway and they fall forward. This bottle doesn't fit in there. I could force it and a lot of times I do, but it is not something that's easy breezy and a lot of other product bottles definitely don't. So what I put in my caddy, I usually start with an all-purpose spray. So I've got this Mrs. Myers all-purpose spray, but I also can mix up Dawn dish soap with some warm soapy water. Or you can also, I'm in love with this Dawn Power Shot. This stuff is amazing, guys. If you have not used it, it cuts through the grease and I've sprayed it on my screens. I've sprayed it on just so many things that I didn't think I was gonna get to be clean. And this stuff works magic i love it so now i am a big fan of it i'll put a link to it below if you've never seen it or you've never tried it go ahead and try it it's really really good and super simple to use and then i just have some furniture polish again my husband had a stash so this is some real inexpensive furniture polish we just pop that right in there and we're good to go on that side on the other side it's kind of my window washing side i usually keep my vinegar and water kind of wedged in there so that I have it, or I could use just your basic um, cleaning spray. That would fit in there perfectly. Either one is fine. I do keep some paper towels, although I don't like to wash my windows with paper towels, and I usually don't get a full roll. I take the like partial roll out of my uh, kitchen and put it in my cleaning caddy and put a fresh one in the kitchen but I do recommend go to the Dollar General or the Dollar Store or whatever you have and get a squeegee. This is going to be a game changer when it comes to your sliding glass doors and your big huge mirrors and things like that. You can go through and clean and not leave a spot or a streak. It is amazing, but man, does it get it clean. So it's a good investment for a dollar. I'm all about it. So I usually just hook that inside there Okay, and some other things that I think you need to do. On these little side sections, what I usually stick in there is two different types of microfiber. So I bought the Fly Lady microfiber cloths. They were on buy one, get one free. So I bought a, a couple of colors. So I've got the purple cloths. These are what I use for like the wet areas of my home. And then I've got the gray cloths and these are like my mirrors and doors. So I, if I don't do the squeegee, I'll do the cloth or to be honest, I use kind of both because I'll put this around the handle and that keeps my hands from getting all wet. And they just slide in and that way I've got those everywhere I need to go. I have a cloth. Microfiber cloths are a thousand times better than any washcloths or other towels that I have because they are thicker. If you get a good quality one, they're much thicker and they really scrub a lot better and they absorb a lot better. So 
The last couple of things that I keep in my cleaning caddy is a cleaning toothbrush. I use them for cleaning and it's great for tile, grout, around the sink, anything you need a little extra um, scrub and it's small, it fits. So I just stick that in there. I got this little scrubby thing. I don't even know what they call this. This is again from Fly Lady. It was a part of the ultimate package. So this is just a rubber um, bristled brush that really has these edges to get right up against those corners and get out any fuzz or dirt or debris from that. So there's no end to the things you can use that for. And then I have a big feather duster that I just sit right on top that I got through Fly Lady and it's outside kind of I've got it airing out but I've also got this little microfiber handled brush that I can use as well. I have an extended reach handle from Fly Lady that I love for all of my upper things. Those are some things that I just grab when I'm grabbing my caddy. So my caddy fully loaded looks something like this. I just Oops, I just grab it and take it with me. I have everything that I need for the daily cleaning. And if I'm doing zone cleaning, like I said, then I'll get the extended reach handle so that I can go ahead and do those things. But this will set you up so that you're not making a thousand and one trips to and from your cleaning pantry or under the sink in your kitchen or wherever you keep your cleaning stuff. When I go into my bathroom upstairs, I have everything. I don't have to make those trips up and down. I keep toilet cleaner in the bathrooms, so I don't carry that around with me. But guys, a cleaning kit will completely save you time. It'll save you um, headache. It will make cleaning much less of a chore. No one loves it 100%, but I love the way it looks afterwards. And so grab yourself a few products, and that way when you start zone cleaning, you are ready to go. You don't have to panic.